Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Maz. We're back again today with another FCX24 video. Today, we're going to do the first upgrade to the FCX24 that Dirk uh, Psycho 13 Garage, let me get his name right this time, sent me in trade for some parts. Uh, like I said, I'm super grateful for that. But today, we got some sample wheels on some Enjora Crawler Master. All-terrain? AT. Is that an all-terrain, all-terrain? Not the all-terrain, all-terrain. Either way, kind of looks like a Nitto Terra Grappler or Mud Grappler tread pattern. They are on some directional wheels. So we got lefts and rights. So looking at this truck, looks like these nuts, these nuts, your package came today. Anyway, looks like these nuts are gonna be too big for these wheels. So I'm gonna pull these wheels off the, S the FCX24. I'm gonna see off camera if they're a pain to go on there and I'll come back to you and show you where we're at. So we got these wheels on here, but we did have a problem with the nuts. So as expected, the nuts too big to fit it and the wrench down in that hole. Um, it's a problem I've never had in life being able to fit in something, um, but we did have a problem this time. So what I ended up having to do was turn the nylock, it's tapered, it does not have anywhere for it to catch the wrench up top. I had to flip it. And this is just gonna be a temporary fix. I do know that they have extended nuts. These nuts, gotty. But I know Enjoy, I believe, has extended nuts for these, which will solve that problem altogether. But I, I'm too impatient for that. So this is a time you can be impatient. We can make a little quick fix and get them on there. So we'll get these tires off of here. Let me take this and just bear with me for a minute. And let me get this on here. And all you have to do is flip the nut over push down on it a little bit with your finger, twist it a couple times. I guess y'all probably wanna see that. Twist it a couple times, get that nylon lock started, and then bring your wrench in and keep tightening this thing down for the 1400 threads that it has which, hey, who am I kidding? The more the merrier. So we'll tighten this guy down and we'll be back after this commercial break sponsored by Maz Designs. Um, www.maz-designs.com And we're just about there. Give her a little snuggy snug, a little ugga dugga and we got her on there. So I think the wheels look pretty good. They go with that blue color pretty well. I like the tires. The tires feel nice. I will say about these tires, um, they have a nice thick bead on them, which if you're in a rush, it's probably gonna screw you. But if you take time like I do putting wheels and tires together, you can physically get these beads in my wheels set in the brass bead before you ever put this ring on, at least halfway in, and then the ring squeezes it down the rest of the way, they go in like butter. So we did get the truck all together. You know, if it was a Chevy, it'd be sponsored by Rick Ross, you know that Chevy riding high. 
but it's not, it's a Doug. So we'll have to adjust the altitude of this. We'll do that when we go into the shocks. You know, these have the bouncy shocks on them, but I do dig these wheels. Hopefully be coming soon. Dig the look, look on the truck, especially once I think we get it load, lowered down to the ground. I can't really show y'all, but once we get it low, I think I'll really like it, but I like the size. These are 60 millimeter tires. The stock ones are advertised as 60 millimeters and they're probably a touch taller than this tire by maybe a millimeter. But they also come up at a, more of a curvature on the top than these do. These are a little bit flatter. So pretty close. I wanted to stay within that same size. We'll use our spares. We'll throw those in the scale garage as some uh, spares in there. They'll look good. I do like the tractor tire look, but the tire itself doesn't do what I want it to do. So anyway, this was going to be a quick video. Just wanted to show y'all my first upgrade to the FCX 24. Didn't want to take a lot of y'all's time. Like always, if I miss something or, or I don't know what I'm talking about, tell me down in the comments. I'm just a dumb redneck. So if you want to call me that, just call me that down in the comments. And like always, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I put a video up. And until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.